In the previous video, I talked about reflections in the xy plane. Sometimes the test also asks about rotations in the xy plane. In these cases, the center of rotation will almost always be the origin, and the angle will either be 90 degrees one way or the other, or 180 degrees. First, think about quadrants. Any point that rotates 90 degrees clockwise will go down a quadrant. If it's in quadrant 4, it will go to 3. From 3, it will go to 2. From 2, it will go to 1. From 1, it will go to 4. That's the clockwise direction, 4 to 3 to 2 to 1 back to 4. Any point that rotates 90 degrees counterclockwise will go up a quadrant. So if it's in 1, it's going to get moved to 2, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, and from 4 back to 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 back to 1, that's the counterclockwise direction of rotation. Any point that rotates 180 degrees will move to the opposite quadrant. So it will swap back and forth between 1 and 3, or swap back and forth between 2 and 4. Now we can be a little more precise. Recall the discussion about perpendicular slopes a few lessons ago. For a 90 degree rotation either way, the x distances and y distances swap places. So we see a triangle, the purple triangle has a horizontal leg, a long horizontal leg, and a short vertical leg. When we rotate it 90 degrees, anything horizontal becomes vertical, and anything vertical becomes horizontal. So the horizontal and vertical switch places in a 90 degree rotation. So the new x value has the same absolute value as the old y value and vice versa. We have to think through plus and minus signs for the new coordinates based on the quadrants. When we rotate by 180 degrees, the rule is even easier. If an original point anywhere in the xy plane is rotated 180 degrees, then the x and y coordinates of the new point have the same absolute value and simple, simply the opposite plus and minus signs. So suppose we have these points here. Think about what would happen if we rotated 180 degrees around the origin. Well, the positive 5 and positive 3 would just become both negatives. The 4, negative 1 would become negative 4, positive 1. And the two negatives would become two positives. And so the, those would be the three images under 180 degree rotation. Sometimes we have to know what happens if, to the coordinates of individual points when we rotate. In other questions, we just have to use our visual reasoning abilities. If this given shape is rotated by say 180 degrees, what will be its new position and new orientation? So there's not really a formula for this, we have to use visual reasoning. If this is something you find challenging, practice. For example, draw or maybe find in a magazine an asymmetrical figure, something that is clearly asymmetrical. Look at it one way and then try to sketch or imagine what it would look like if it were rotated 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise or rotated 180 degrees and then actually rotate the figure and check and see how close you were. So do the sketch first where you imagine it, and then actually rotate the figure and see how close you were. Here's a practice problem. Pause the video and then we'll talk about this. Okay, so that figure is in the first quadrant. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees, so that means it's going to wind up in the third quadrant. So right away, we know that's not going to be in the second quadrant. And if it rotates 180 degrees, it gets flipped over. So these two long sides right now are getting point, they're pointed down. If it's flipped 180 degrees over, they're going to be pointing up. And so the answer is D. The test will ask us to rotate things in the XY plane almost always by either 90 degrees, 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise, or 180 degrees, and almost always around the origin. So that makes it easier. The test could give us coordinates of any one point and ask us to find the coordinate of the new rotated point, or 
The test may simply give us a shape or a figure in one quadrant and ask us to visualize how it would appear when rotated.